Going to the clinic has given me the opportunity to learn how to draft letters to clients, to learn how to write persuasively. I have learned so many skills to improve my writing, to be more succinct and clearer. We spend time on the computers, uh, researching the different cases, and then we're also involved in all of the direct client contact. So we call the clients, we call opposing counsel. Um, we prepare for the custody conferences or the custody hearings. Um, it's all, it's an experience that you definitely would not get in the classroom. A big thing at the clinic is making sure everything is client-based. So it's talking to your clients and not telling them what to do, but more so giving them their options and making sure that they're doing what they want to do, but also having it be informed. Students really need to be prepared for the fact that they're representing people who are going to have a, a legal crisis, they're not going to have the money to pay an attorney, and they might not have an education past high school. I think it is one of the best opportunities we have here at Penn State. I think it's what sets us apart from other applicants when we apply for jobs. We, in so many ways, have free reign to completely practice law in this opportunity, and I think it's one of my best experiences at law school. I was able to meet with clients and provide advice to them regarding issues in the arts, sports, and entertainment law industry. And a lot of the issues actually had to deal with intellectual property, namely copyright law and trademark law. Aside from counseling the clients, we did have other projects within the clinic. So we did go to the Millennium Music Conference where we got the chance to sit in on seminars and conferences with agents, attorneys, and actually speak with artists in the area. So it was great that I had the chance to meet with the clients, practice my skills with the clients, yet make sure that I was properly supervised just in case. The work on the clinic is uh, primarily brief writing and research, um, at least in my two semesters that I spent on it. We worked uh, uh, a case from certiorari petition all the way through uh, oral argument that Professor Foreman conducted. I had um, a good experience learning to write when I got to law school, and I really learned a lot, but there's nothing quite the same as trying to convince uh, the Supreme Court or an appellate court that your position is right uh, when there's a ton of case law that goes against you and much less that's in your favor. So I think I learned a lot about how to write very effectively um, and how to condense an idea that uh, on a law school exam could take up 15 pages, but in a Supreme Court brief has 500 words to get across. It's a really unique uh, experience, not just at this law school, but I think in law school generally. The Immigration Law Clinic is policy-based, so if you're interested in some of the larger ideas involved in immigration law and you enjoy the idea of working with an organization rather than an individual client, um, then I think a student would be really interested in the Immigration Law Clinic. Because you're working on a project independently, there's a lot of things that um, are on your shoulder in terms of doing it on your own, revising on your own, researching on your own. It went beyond the legal reading and writing and research, but we actually um, worked with not only the individual attorneys across the country, but also the attorneys at the um, Legal Action Center at the American Immigration Council, and that was very important in developing, I think, our professional skills and our ability to collaborate with a wide number of individuals. We went to Washington, D.C. to present before the American Bar Association's Commission on Immigration, um, and this is a room full of people who are really well known in, in the field, um, and they're important people, and just to be able to stand in front of them uh, speak really openly and freely and really have a strong understanding of the project um, and really contribute to what the American Bar Association is doing was really um, a big moment for me. We would work directly with the clients. So a lot of the small farm clients, we would actually meet with the owners of the farm and interview them and then figure out what their 
issue us and then dis I guess decide with them what we would be able to do for them. I'm interested in environmental law, so I worked on a lot of I guess agricultural or small, small farm type of issues, but a lot of them included environmental compliance issues and just regulatory issues. So a lot of the projects overlapped with environmental law. As the guardian ad litem for a child, we are given an opportunity to give our opinion on what's in the best interest of a child, which is basically a closing statement. We have to prepare witnesses, we have to cross-examine witnesses. So a lot of the skills that I learned in that class, in particular, I've used uh, at my time in the clinic. In addition, just any sort of research and writing and also applying law to new fact situations, no two cases are the same. So you have to take the one or two laws that uh, apply for child dependency cases in the state of Pennsylvania and then apply them to your fact scenario based on your client's situation. Um, the clinics, I think, are much more of the actual practice of law. You have your cases, you own your cases, you're responsible for them. Um, if opposing counsel calls you, they don't call the supervising attorney, you're responsible for contacting your clients and being prepared for court. It's one of the th unique opportunities you have while you're in law school. You get to take a small caseload, whereas when you get out in the real world, you're, you know, we only have six or seven clients. The type of work we do, the average attorney has a hundred. So you really get the opportunity to see and practice it and really learn it um, rather than just kind of get everything thrown at you and be a little overwhelmed. So I highly recommend the clinic program and in particular the Children's Advocacy Clinic to any student who's interested in that type of work. Externship placement is really, you can be in a judge's chambers, you can be uh, where I was in the Attorney General's office, you could be with the DA. So there's a lot more variety and if you really know what you want to do in particular, it's, I think it's a great program. Uh, my externship experience was with the Pennsylvania Attorney General's Office Bureau of Consumer Protection. My position was much more research, writing, assisting um, attorneys in the office with preparing court documents. I worked at the AFL-CIO, which is uh, one of the nation's largest labor unions, and I worked in the general counsel's office there, which is basically just an in-house legal counsel um, for the whole union. I had an externship with Judge Kistler, who's the president judge of the Court of Common Pleas for Center County. Um, that externship was uh, primarily working with his clerk, um, his, his term clerk, to uh, research and write opinions or orders on the judge's behalf. I'm working at the Securities Exchange Commission in D.C., and I'm working in their Office of Chief Counsel. I think the best part has been just the hands-on practical experience I'm getting every day and the people I'm meeting every day. You know, Penn State does a good job at finding externships, especially within the government, for students who are interested in it. You get to see how the judge thinks about things. You get to see how the clerk, uh, in some cases, really ends up making the decision. Um, and you get to see what a good attorney looks like and what a bad attorney looks like. I learned a lot of practical uh, information about how to practice in front of a judge when you become an attorney. I became interested at an opportunity that I saw advertised for working with Midpen Legal Services and they were requesting research for a housing issue. And it was really great because I worked really closely um, with the attorney and she was able to guide me in my research and I really felt as though I was able to contribute um, to what they were needing to do to actually help um, clients. The attorneys that I worked with were, were very flexible. Um, if I needed extra time or if I needed help with anything, they were very willing to, to give me whatever assistance they could. And they were just so grateful for having the help that it just became a, a collaborative um, project that really added to my experience at the law school.